Hey gorgeous, thank you for tuning back into my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you what's in my bag or a what fits inside of my bag. It's been a little while since I've done one of these videos and this particular handbag was my Christmas gift and I have not talked about it since unboxing it. So I really wanted to do this video today because I'm getting ready to head out and I wanted to organize it. So if you're interested in seeing what's inside of my bag, then please keep watching. Hey friend, welcome back. Today I'm really happy to be here sharing this with you. My family and I have been under the weather and this is really my first video since I started to feel a little bit better. So I'm really, really excited to be doing a video today and I'm so excited that you are here. For those of you who are new and have just stumbled across my channel, thank you for clicking on the thumbnail. Over here I make videos on lifestyle, luxury, I do review videos, and I also sprinkle in a little bit of my motherhood journey and my personal life in my monthly vlogs. So if any of those things sound good to you, then I would love to have you here. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also be sure to turn on that notification bell so you know exactly when my videos drop. All right, let's get into it. So the handbag of the moment is my Mugler Spiral Curve Shoulder Bag. So this handbag was my Christmas gift and I don't know if you all remember that video didn't get a lot of views but I did do a video a while back talking about how I wanted to get a handbag in this particular style and I went over a few different options in the video and some of you did try and help me figure out what I was going to purchase and I was getting ready to make a decision based off of those suggestions when I stumbled across this bag on one of my favorite sites LNCC and I went ahead and pulled the trigger on this one. So this handbag basically checked off a lot of boxes for me. The first was the price. This handbag is a $1,200 bag and I think I paid six something for it. So it was literally half off. And then the second was the silhouette. This is the exact silhouette I was looking for, but this silhouette had a little bit of interest. So this asymmetrical shape added a little pop of interest and intrigue. And that is why I decided ultimately to go with this bag. The price was right. The quality of the designer is there. And then the silhouette matched what I was looking for and then some. So I have been loving this bag. When I started wearing it, it was really hard for me to put down. So I had to force myself and I just picked it back up and I'm probably going to be wearing this for at least two weeks. I don't know. So we'll see like when I actually end up putting this one down but yes I love this handbag so let's get into what's inside so this is a bird's eye view just a bird's eye view of what is inside of this bag the first thing I have in here is my Polen card case and this card case is one that I've reviewed on the on the channel before so I will link that video here so you can go and watch it so that's in here I also have in here a sample this is a perfume sample of Amelie's Femme by MFK and this this is a fragrance DNA I've been into I think it's because spring is approaching so I've kind of been into these floral DNAs this is just the card that came with the bag I usually leave these cards in my bag no particular reason I just do so I'll just put that back in there and then I have in here my coach makeup bag and it's stuffed we'll take a peek at what's in here in just a second I also have in here my key holder I also have in here my card case. Um, this is the powder I've been loving at the moment, my touch-up powder. I also like to use it after I do my makeup to kind of really smoothen out and give me that filtered effect under my eye. And then we have a pen. And that is everything that was inside of the bag except for the card. Uh, there's nothing in here. Inside of my makeup pouch we have this makeup by mario ultra suede cozy lip cream in the color nude suede and that's what i have on my lips today we also have this lip liner from mac i believe this is cork yeah this is the cork lip liner i kind of have cork on the inside and i have a darker liner on the outside i also have my lip gloss in here this this is almost finished but this was my tower 28 gloss in the color oat need to get some more I might pick some more up today 
All right, so I also have in here this sunscreen. It's called Cent Centella. It's like a stick, and it's a really interesting formula because it doesn't moisturize. It's really dry. It stays dry, but when you put it on, it doesn't feel dry. It's a very, very interesting formula, but this is great for applying sunscreen to my hands, my neck, and my face when I'm barefaced. I did that the other day. Um, I love the convenience of this. If I need to apply it on my kids, I can. If we forgot sunscreen this makes for a really quick application just like on my face neck and hands centella i believe is what this is called it's a very interesting formula i also have in here my hand cream this is my sephora hand balm in the coconut scent i also have in here my other hand cream a lip sleeping mask this is the Sephora Lip Sleeping Mask. It's the hot cocoa flavor. I got this over the holidays. A brown lip liner. It's a Sephora brand lip liner. The Dior Lip Glow Oil. And that was everything inside of my makeup pouch. So it's all been emptied. I'm gonna put everything back in. It's been a minute since I've done one of these videos, but one of the things I used to love to do is share my fragrance of the day and also my look of the day. So my look of the day is really simple. I have on this white fox hat. This shirt is a Frankie Shop shirt. I have on some blue jeans and I'll be wearing sneakers today. So really simple. The jewelry is, um, I can't remember where I got these earrings from, but just some stud earrings and I have a layered necklace situation. Um, Kendra Scott for the necklaces. I also have on bracelets. I have on my permanent bracelets on this wrist. And then on this wrist, another Kendra Scott bracelet and my wedding band. And then for scent of the day, this was a gift from Hubby for reaching my subscriber milestone, my 5K milestone. This is Queening by Mind Games. So we're just gonna spray that on today. Like I said, I've been unwell, so I don't really want like a heavy scent. I want something really soft and enveloping and cozy that also projects and you can smell it. And this is perfect for that. So yes, I'm gonna put some more on. And yes, we will just be rocking our Mugles Spiral Curve handbag today. And that's how it fits under the arm. I really love this. Even with this stiffer shirt, it works just fine. And I really, really love this handbag. It's so cute. If you're still here and you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like on your way out. That really helps my channel, helps me grow. Let me know down below what handbag you have not been able to put down as of late. Also, let me know what your scent of the day is. And if you're here and you don't really have anything to say, but just want to let me know that you are here, drop an emoji in the comment section so that I'm aware. And thank you so much for being here. Before I go, I want to remind you to keep letting your light shine. No matter what situation you may find yourself in, don't dim your light. Keep letting your light shine because that may be exactly what that situation needs. So I will be over here doing the exact same thing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one very soon. Bye.